The vision to expand the Air Force's power through advanced autonomous systems and artificial intelligence is inching closer to reality. Companies are competing for advanced weapon technologies, investing in the next fighter jet generation. This video will cover the most awaited aircraft artificial intelligence weapon systems to kill faster and effectively. Recently, one of the Air Force's oldest planes became the first military aircraft to fly with artificial intelligence on December 15th. This flight marks a major leap forward for the U.S. military staying ahead of advancing rivals, such as China. The U-2 flew with an AI algorithm that controlled the Dragon Lady's sensors and tactical navigation during a local training from Beale Air Force Base. The Lockheed U-2, nicknamed Dragon Lady, is a single-jet engine, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. Built in complete secrecy by Kelly Johnson, the U-2s have taken part in post-Cold War conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq and supported several multinational NATO operations. The U-2 has also been used for electronic sensor research, satellite calibration, scientific research, and communications purposes. The AI algorithm for U-2 is developed by Air Combat Command's Federal Laboratory and named R-2 in reference to the droid that serves as a co-pilot in the Star Wars film franchise. The laboratory used more than a half million simulated training missions to build this algorithm. R2 took over tasks generally handled by the pilot, like controlling various sensors and navigation right after takeoff, letting the pilot focus on the flying. The training scenario focused on a simulated missile strike, with R2 finding enemy missile launchers and the pilot looking for adversary aircraft, both using the U2's radar. R2 is based on a gaming algorithm known as Zero, which has been used to beat human chess and Go players. According to the Air Force, the U-2 lab specially trained the AI co-pilot to manipulate the U-2 sensor suite during over half a million computer simulated missions, and the more it engages in simulated air combat, the more it becomes efficient. Like any pilot, R-2, even the real R-2-D2, has strengths and weaknesses. Those who believe pilots will soon be replaced by AI should not forget that it still has several drawbacks. For example, AI is vulnerable to strategies it hasn't seen before, human mistakes and bugs, zero-day vulnerabilities, or traditional cyber attacks. AI systems can be compromised by attacking the learning process so that the model learns a backdoor or wrong behavior that the attacker can exploit when needed. Previously in testing, AI algorithms were used to prevent aircraft from flying into the ground, known as Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System, or Auto GCAS currently being fielded in the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Fleet. It was developed in the 1990s, but early versions had data issues. After re-engineering, it was installed on more than 600 F-16 Fighter Falcon aircraft since 2014. This system has saved nine jets from crashing into the ground. One incident involved a two-seater aircraft, resulting in 10 lives saved to date. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the most versatile aircraft in the U.S. Air Force Aerial Combat Fleet. The F-16's maneuverability and combat radius exceed that of all potential threat fighter aircraft. It can locate targets in all weather conditions and detect low-flying aircraft in radar ground clutter. Since September 11, 2001, the F-16 Fighting Falcon has been a major component of the combat forces committed to the global war on terrorism. Flying thousands of sorties in support of Operations Noble Eagle, enduring freedom in Afghanistan, and Iraqi freedom. The system is a flight control logic that uses a digital terrain elevation database to calculate the aircraft's relative position above the ground. Suppose it senses that the aircraft is on a collision course with the ground that is outside of normal parameters. In that case, it automatically commands the aircraft to roll wings level and executes a recovery to prevent flight into the ground. For example, if a pilot loses consciousness, the system kicks in. The sensors that feed into it consider the terrain below, the aircraft's trajectory and speed, and the human inputs, or lack thereof, to calculate how best to recover the jet and return it to a smooth trajectory. Once the aircraft is at a safe altitude, the system will return control to the pilot. Nevertheless, putting AI safely in command of a US military system for the first time ushers in a new age of human-machine teaming and algorithmic opportunities for the following innovations. Sixth-generation fighter jets. 
The world's major air forces are developing AI technology to procure next-generation fighter aircraft, providing superiority in the air combat domain. Let's figure out the leading players competing for next-generation fighter development. Number 1. Tempest The Tempest is a next-generation combat air system with a future combat aircraft at its core. Launched by Britain in 2018, the Tempest fighter jet project is a trilateral cooperation between the Royal Air Force, Italy, and Sweden. The Tempest also has a partnership with such companies as jointly with BAE Systems, Leonardo, Rolls-Royce, and MBDA. The combat aircraft will enter service with the Royal Air Force RAF, in 2035 to replace the Typhoon fighter. It will have an adaptable architecture suitable for a range of operations, with provision to change software and hardware according to mission needs. Equipped with advanced technologies such as wearable cockpits with gaming technology, eye-tracking technology, and augmented reality, the aircraft will serve the RAF for the next 60 years. Recently, MBDA has published an infographic showing some of the new 6th generation aircraft's weapons. Future hard-kill defensive aid systems will track, target, and intercept incoming missiles in high-threat environments. Rolls-Royce is working on the advanced combustion system technology that will power the Tempest. With the higher temperature combustion, a new thermal management system will use the turbine as a heat sink to recycle thermal energy. It will remove the need for overboard venting and improve efficiency. An increased electrical power production, reportedly in the order of 1 megawatt, will be used to power all the aircraft's subsystems. Number 2. MiG-41 Interceptor Aircraft Russia's new 6th generation aircraft, MiG-41, also known as PAC-DP, is a future interceptor that will operate at extremely high altitudes, at speeds exceeding Mach 4. The MiG-41, a long-range interceptor, is touted to be a replacement for the aging MiG-31. Being developed by Mikoyan, the fighter will be equipped with a missile system to intercept hypersonic missiles. The aircraft could be modified to create an unmanned variant in the future. The new interceptor is expected to be equipped with long-range air-to-air missiles, advanced target search and detection equipment, and stealth technology. The Russian Air Force is anticipated to induct the MiG-41 in the 2030s. Number 3. FX or Next Generation Air Dominance the U.S. Air Force is seemingly ahead of its counterparts as the research laboratory released a next-generation aircraft rendering. The new fighter jet is expected to have a stealthy design with a high-energy laser capable of cutting enemy aircraft in half. Also known, the future aircraft is expected to have longer range, larger payloads, and the ability to carry hypersonic weapons. Under the NGAD program, the USAF aims to develop advanced capabilities such as connected air warfare systems including fighter aircraft, drones, and networked platforms. The USAF has reportedly recently designed, built, and tested a prototype of the new fighter jet. The demonstrator was developed and flown in a year. Suppose the program progresses at a rapid pace through the streamlined processes and the use of technology. In that case, the fighter jet could join the USAF earlier than the planned 2030 timeline. Number 4. Future Combat Air System A joint program between Germany, France, and Spain, the Future Combat Air System will deliver a next-generation fighter, which will operate as part of a manned, unmanned teaming formation with attack and surveillance drones, known as remote carriers. Dassault is the prime contractor for the NGF, and Airbus is the leading partner. Airbus will collaborate with MBDA for the remote carriers and tails for the combat cloud system, while Safran and MTU Aero engines will work on the engines. According to the current schedule, prototype testing will commence in 2026, while service entry is scheduled for 2040. All the manned and unmanned elements will be connected by a combat cloud that will be powered by artificial intelligence. The Air Forces will operate the FCAS 6th generation aircraft at a safe standoff distance while deploying the remote carriers in dangerous areas to deal with threats. Training Simulators On December 1st, the aerospace company announced assembling the T-7A Red Hawk Advanced Jet Trainer with AI simulators for the next generation of pilots. In a step forward for the Air Forces, it had begun the first two weapon system trainers and an operational flight trainer. Once constructed, the simulators will be able to digitally connect to the actual T-7A cockpit, 
enabling pilots practicing in the virtual simulation to connect with pilots flying the T-7 during live training. This system is 100% integrated with the pilot's real-world experience, offering real-as-it-gets simulation. The Air Force awarded Boeing a $9.2 billion contract for such a program. The simulators will offer high-fidelity and high-definition visual displays to give pilots a near replica of what they see and experience in flight. The company said the sims will be equipped with motion seats and a Boeing-made visual system using 8K native projectors. AI-enabled drones Another Leap Ahead initiative is the Air Force's Skyborg program, which will develop AI-enabled drones to fly ahead of fighter jets and respond to incoming threats before they reach the human pilot. The U.S. Air Force has selected three defense companies to produce unmanned aerial vehicle prototypes, awarded contracts to Boeing $25.7 million, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems $14.3 million, and Kratos Unmanned Aerial Systems $37.8 million. Despite the drones being considered attributable or cheap enough to be destroyed without the high cost, the total program costs are expected to be at around $400 million. The Air Force has already conducted multiple tests with Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie drone as part of the service's low-cost attributable strike demonstration program. Its role is to escort the F-22 or F-35 during combat missions and to be able to deploy weapons or surveillance systems. The most impressive is the price, as the drone is supposed to cost just $2 million a piece, on par with cruise missiles and almost nothing compared to actual fighter jets. To sum up, artificial intelligence will be the core technology for 6th generation fighters with advanced avionics, sensor suite, and flight control system, as well as providing advanced training and unmanned vehicles. We hope you enjoyed revealing some insights about the current aircraft innovations. Please give this video a like if you learned something new, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another exciting video from Front Cost. See you next time!